density is the mass per volume. And this is important to us because, among other things, it makes balloons float and air stay around on the Earth's surface so we can breathe it. One of the ways to take a look at this is to use a number of spheres that are approximately the same mass and size so we can see how agitation affects the density. To get the mass per unit volume, we have to first get the mass. So that's what we're doing here, is collecting the mass of these various objects. The foam balls are so light that we had to use a different scale. And no density measurement would be complete without a volume to go with it. And so here we're getting the density. And the units are actually grams per cubic centimeter. So now we're going to take all of these balls and similar and mix them all together in a large clear container so that we can agitate it. That's basically bounce it up and down so that the balls can seek their own level according to density. Because there's not that much difference, it's not obvious uh, which is on which layer, especially with the size and the quantity. We don't have a large enough statistical universe to make it clear, but it should be simple to note that the heavier balls, the more dense balls, are headed for the bottom. And the lighter balls are not only headed for the top, but they also get enough energy to be ejected from time to time. Stay tuned for more practical experiments in science. Thanks. Bye.